Good morning and welcome back to Sonnet Institute of Te Technology. My name is Bruce Malaudzi and this is the Reddit Certificate of Expertise in High Availability Clustering. This is module 1.4 and we are continuing in our video series. In module 1.3 we configured an iSCSI target and it's working 100%. In this module, which is 1.4, we are going to configure the two iSCSI initiators, that is server 1 and server 2. These two servers, they need to log on to the iSCSI target. So these are the steps that we will take. We will install the iSCSI initiator utils package. After that, we will rename the uh, iSCSI initiator names. We'll start and enable the iSCSI service that will be um, on server 1 and server 2. And we'll actually, after that, we'll log on to the iSCSI target and verify our changes. That's all we need to do. And obviously, we need to make sure that our changes are persistent. So without wasting time, let's get started. Back on GNS3. Um, our iSCSI target is running on IPA server that will be this machine so we need to configure server 1 and server 2 as iSCSI initiators so we need to do that uh, uh, we need to do this configuration on both server 1 and server 2 so let's start with server 1 so I need to log on to server 1 so here I am on server 1 I just need to start the terminal shell and let me enlarge that so login as root enter the root password so the first thing we need to do now since i'm logged in i need to install the right packages so that will be yum install uh, iSCSI initiator utils Initiator utils. Did I spell it right? I think so. Dash Y for yes. Okay, the packages are installing. Okay, finish installing. And the next thing I need to rename the initiator name so that will be vim uh, forward slash etc forward slash iSCSI forward slash initiator name dot iSCSI so I need to change that default name and assign the right name that has been configured in module uh, 1.3 so our iSCSI is iqn.2017-02 dot 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 com and this is server one so remember you gotta use um, what you assigned in the access list so in the access list this is what we had so the first one was server one and I just have to exit and save this. Now I need to system CTL enable iSCSI. And system CTL start iSCSI. Okay. So the iSCSI commands are fairly long and I suggest you use the main pages. So this is what I normally do. Um, I'll open gedit. So that will be under accessories. Uh, gedit. Okay, I push that aside. Uh, go back to the terminal and 
use the main pages the main pages that will be iSCSI ATM iSCSI ATM scroll down to the examples scroll 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 here are your examples copy and paste these lines uh, we don't need to log out that will be copy so I can copy those lines go back to gedit uh, expand gedit like that and paste your lines and then uh, let me enlarge that uh, where is zoom I need to zoom in uh, it looks like I can't zoom in but I hope you can see from where you are right now uh, looks like I can't zoom in but anyway uh, I think you can see from there uh, so those are the commands I copied so I just need to clean them up so let me stretch this and stretch it more like that all right so uh, let's begin with this one so it says if you want to discover the ice cards this is the command you pass all right so let's edit that and insert our own information so our ice cards portal is actually 192.168.15.10 the second line is if you want to log in this is the command line you use so we will remove this and insert our information so our information is iqn dot two thousand and seventeen okay so that will be that and then example dot com and then our portal is one sixty eight dot fifteen dot ten the port number it's still the same thirty two sixty that's the default so what I need to do now is to pass these commands so I'll copy that and paste into my terminal so exit that and clear the script so let me paste that so it'll be iSCSI so I'm trying to discover so it'll be iSCSI mode discovery uh, type same target that's the portal IP and discover yeah, that's correct connection refused okay connection error uh, let me see if I have general connectivity oh I made a mistake clear the screen uh, let's get back here yeah. the ice cars is actually on the dot 250 IP that's 250 and remove the 10 there is 250 okay so let's do it again so I'll copy and come back to the terminal and paste there we go our ice guys is on the dot 250 so let's try to discover there we go it's discovered as you can see and um, now we need to try to log, on, log in so I'll copy that and paste these commands are fairly long I need to be careful when copy and paste so that will be copy so let me paste now there we go so let's revise it so I'll say I scuzzy ATM mode not target name yes it's correct it's correct the portal yes it's correct that is correct no records found the 
is a mistake I made here. 192.168.250 uh, IQN Okay, no records found. You know why? Because Because, let me show you why Because when we discovered uh, let me show you the discover this is the name discovered so I need to include this cluster uh, keyword so this is what I was discovered so if I go back to my notepad and right here I should include cluster like this All right so let's try again copy all right so let's paste that okay all right as you can see I'm um, successfully logged in right there so if I do ls uh, lbk dash dash SCSI, should be able to see uh, the share drive there we go share drive is here it's been mounted so from here server one is good and we can exit from server one let's go to server two start the terminal and zoom in Is root so we'll do everything that we did on server one so we're gonna do it here as well that will be yum install iSCSI uh, why am I making a typo that will be iSCSI initiator uh, dash utils and dash y for yes so it's installing okay so I can edit the iSCSI name initiator name that will be iSCSI initiator name and change that to my custom name so server 2's name is iqn.21 uh, 2017-02 dot example dot com and that will be server 2 alright so I can save and exit now I need to enable iSCSI and then I need to start iSCSI okay and do the same uh, get G edit and the accessories G edit push it aside and let me do the main pages for iSCSI iSCSI ADM scroll down to the examples and copy the imported two lines the discover and the login so I can do copy I can exit from there and go back to gedit uh, stretch the window stretch and then paste 
so now let's end it with our own information so the portal is supposed to be 168.15.250 and the target name is iqn.2017 dash zero two dot example dot com uh, colon cluster and our portal is the IP address of the server that will be one nine two dot one sixty eight dot fifteen dot two fifty I can leave the port number as it is because it's default so let's copy and paste now so let's go and discover copy and paste so let's double check that 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 yeah looks good okay it has been discovered as you can see here now i need to log in so copy the second line and make sure that you got your information in the correct format according to your needs so i need to paste now that will be paste so let me double check uh, that 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 cluster portal yes okay i'm successfully logged in as you can see so let me do l ls plk dash dash scuzzy so here is my shared drive so i've successfully logged in so at this point of time um both server one and two have successfully logged into the iSCSI target we also have verified our uh, changes as you can see here we have successfully mounted the iSCSI share so basically this is how it's done um we have our iSCSI target here, then the two iSCSI initiators, they've already, they've both mounted the share. So in the next video, we'll proceed with our scenario and try to solve uh, and complete the task. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.